Hebron Primary School in the Northwest is changing its name to Ontlametse Palatse Primary School. Now, this is in honor of Palatse, who was diagnosed with a rare genetic condition called progeria. Pupils at the school will get a chance to watch a documentary on her life titled My Attractive Life, the Story of Ontlametse Palatse. Now, Palatse co-produced the film with Kebetsu Mokwena from Prosperita Productions. Sadly, she died before it was completed. Now, uh, Mokwena is here with us this morning together with Khosatana Setole and George Sinosha from the Ontlametse project and Satoli is an inspirational speaker and Sinosha a mentor. First let's bring you a sneak peek of that documentary before we get chatting. And so that you can see by myself. And if you accept where you are, you're gonna live a local life. Part of me was like, wow, this person is amazing. And we saw Ontlametse as a young girl who had the mission to change the world. It doesn't matter whether I talk to 80-year-old people or I talk to 6 year old I just want to touch them and make a difference in their lives. Unclimates is uh, existence on this planet will forever teach many people about the fact that uh, there's nothing impossible. She believed that people did not understand the power that they had. She had these extraordinary powers. I think I learned more from her probably than she learned from me. Confidence is the conquer of this world. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that looks like such a wonderful tribute, such a wonderful tribute to Antlametse. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Thank you for your time this morning. Uh, Kebetsu, well, let's, uh, let's start with you and, and uh, let's talk about uh, the actual naming, I mean, the highlight of this week, Hebron Primary School, to be renamed Antlametse Palazzi. Why Hebron Primary School? Uh, before Antlametse passed on in 2017, in March, she adopted uh, Hebron Primary School. And she said, this is a school where I'm going to be partnering with them and I'm going to be doing CSI projects, you know. And um, then that's where it started. So we started doing some work and we formed some great partnership. And when, we, um, when she passed on, we went to the Department of um, Education in the Northwest. And we said, hey, you know, this is what we've been doing with Untamezi, and we don't only want to do it um, in Hebron Primary. We also want to extend it to other schools. Mm -hmm. And um, the principal actually said, why don't we, you know, because this project looks like it can be a huge project, why don't we then um, name the school uh, Untamezi? And that's where it, it started. Mm. Yeah. Uh, George, I mean, uh, tell us about the, the impact you think this is going to have. I mean, what, what a wonderful honor. And, and, and it, it, you know, it, it's not just naming a school after somebody who, who, who made an impact outside. I mean, she was a, a powerful person. And just what do you think, you know, she, she would want to be done with this project? What do you think she would want to happen with a primary school being named after her and a documentary being made? Thank you very much for the opportunity. And I'm greeting all the viewers at home. Ontlametse uh, had a vision with the school, uh, not only to help the learners, but to turn the school into a hub of hope, whereby various uh, people in, in the village will actually uh, benefit from. Uh, like for instance, um, before she passed on, she was uh, driving the, the project of uh, keeping a girl child in school. Today we can proudly say that project that started outreached to more than 35,000 young girls. And currently, because she had a dream you know, uh, in exploring into Africa, we are currently working with Botswana, with JCI. JCI is Junior Chamber International. There in Botswana, we have touched 4,000 young girls, mm. keeping them in school. So Ontlametse uh, actually wanted uh, children to take education serious, yeah. number, number one. But her most worrying factor uh, was that children are leaving the, 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 the townships, they are leaving the villages into towns in search of good education. And she couldn't understand why, because we've got all these mm. schools here in the townships and the villages, and they've been benchmarked, you know, 
but the, the quality of education, uh, it is believed to be better in towns, uh, you, you, you know, better than our, our, our villages. So our commitment to that is that we are going, to, we, we have to turn these schools uh, uh, as the best schools whereby our children won't be waking up at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, coming back 5, 6 o'clock in the evening, uh, straining themselves, you know. So that's, that's the vision. Fantastic. And, yes. uh, and uh, Jose Sana is here to talk to us. I mean, and, uh, and you mentioned about keeping a girl child in school for, for children to be interested. Uh, Jose Sana, you want to highlight for us why is it important as a person living with a disability to actually persevere and not give up? I'd like to hear what, what your experience has been. Okay, um, thank you for the opportunity that you have given me. Good morning, South Africa. Um, I would like to say uh, living with disability, it it also teaches us to actually um, uh, to be not concerned by our circumstances, but, but to deal with our adversity with love, hope, and faith. You know, so um, knowing Ontamenta's vision, I think um, it teaches us to not give up, even though hardship can trigger self doubt. Doubt, but the more that we know, uh, it. it it makes us to actually deal with the challenges. So what did you take from Aunt Lametze and, 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 what her, and her beliefs? What does she mean to you? How did she help you deal I, with the schooling years? Okay, I think um, she helped me by believing in myself. As the fact that I was the only one at school who lived with disability and everyone at school was normal. So um, getting that attention that I was the only one, I think ultimately taught me that even though you are the only one, but you can make a difference in the world and you can make a difference in the school by making children believing that with whatever situation that you are born into, you can make it in life. Fantastic. And I think that message will certainly come across in that documentary, yeah. Kibet. So yeah. just tell us more. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, like as she was um, uh, saying, you know, Untla um, Metzi didn't care. You know, she just said you have to wake up and make sure that you do it yourself, you know. And um, the documentary says exactly that. You know, you watch it, you see that um, she went obviously through various challenges, you know. Um, as um, she was saying that you get to school and you're the only one, you know, with disability. Yeah. You're the only one that draws attention. You know, you don't yes, want, yeah. you know, um, so you get to see all those things. And she didn't. She said, "It's not where you're from; it's where you're going that matters." Mm -hmm. You know, so the school kids will have a, uh, an opportunity to see the documentary when we honor the uh, mm -hmm. um on Friday and in Hebron. Um, the program will be starting at eight, about nine o'clock until in the afternoon. Um, so yeah, and we are excited. You know, thereafter we'll be taking it to schools okay. around no the northwest. Um, the, the the decision came uh, when we realized that you know what not every child can afford to go to a cinema so why don't we bring yeah. it to them yeah. you know and we're saying to many on climates that are out there come out you know um, and let's see let's just you know bring out the hope in you you know so we're very excited okay and George just a last word from you on the uh, on climates project and uh, Kibetz you're telling us that you are taking this documentary to schools you're going to take it around but in terms of other projects what do you do now I mean uh, on climates is no longer with us but what are the plans for the future for for the project who else are you going to be reaching out to? Okay, we, 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 we've got lots of projects. Um, on it belonged, belonged to the Tzala Children Shield and Projects. Uh, this is the organization by Children for Children. It's been run by them. So what happens in that project, each and every child, they've got their own speciality. Like she, her speciality is to go out there and say to the parents, don't chain your children on the, on, you know, on the beds because they are disabled. Bring yeah. them into the open so that they can get help. Uh, we've got projects like um, where we fight malnutrition. Um, we go out to the villages and then we, 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 we fight mal, 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 malnutrition. So there's a lot of projects. At the moment, uh, as we're sitting here, Ontlamets was involved in, in, in a five-kilometer run where she was commemorating the five ladies who were knocked uh, down by a car. Yes. 
So soon we will be launching, uh, you, you know, the, the running club in her honor. Fantastic. Uh, whereby, you know, children in the street, everyone will be joining in to, to form so part of the... So making sure that the legacy of Onkla lives exactly. on in many ways. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you very much, George. Thank you so much, Khosetana Kebetwe. We'd love to see the full documentary. And, uh, and good luck for, for the launch you. on Friday. Thank you very much.